Alright guys, so I've finally got this set up somewhat. I just put a little um, waste board basically down here. I found this MDF, 3mm MDF in the house, and it was just a small long piece. So I just had to cut it in half. It was one meter long, and I had two of them, so I cut them in half. And as you can see here, now we have it uh, taped as a waste board, so we don't go into the board here. Now the clamping system is absolute crap. As you can see here, uh, the reason for that is because they're running, they're doing it like Apple. Basically, they're going to charge you another, I don't know, like $400 or $300 for a clamping system. So this thing is like, you just have to buy plugins, basically. I just recently, I just, the uh, milling bath just arrived and the milling bath is pretty cool, I guess. It's because you can CNC underwater. Now, what good is that for? Well... Carbon fiber, the whole reason why I got this is to mill carbon fiber and the dust is very dangerous and this is not going to do it any justice so I, I don't want to inhale this and this is a very tiny little area here that I'm working in. So I got the milling bath, it's basically a adapter or a connector that just connects to the bed here and you just fill it up with water and the thing is once you start milling in carbon fiber the whole water goes black so you can't see shit. So uh, what I did is, these just actually just arrived today. I ordered two water pumps. Hopefully they're not that strong, but they're medium, uh, just so I can have a pump pushing water out of the milling bath, going through a filter and then getting put back in here. Now uh, the, the, the bath is, I don't know how big it is, I saw we even opened it. But what I'm going to do is I'm also going to build an Arduino sensor on the side. So if it reaches a specific level, there'll be a MOSFET controlling these guys and it would disconnect the one that's uh, putting water into the bath and vice versa. You know, the, the, this is what my goal and my plan is. And I'm going to be working on it um, in the next couple of days. So it's going to be pretty fun, pretty interesting. Now I'm just waiting for the carbon fiber. I do have some 3mm MDF uh, sheets, which came actually with these. Uh, I have two of those and they were supposed to go on the back but I was just too lazy to ever install them and now I found the best use ever for them. So I'm just practicing here and uh, it's going to be good. The other one's a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my first frame, which is going to be this guy. I've, I've redesigned this frame. I mean, if you're new to the channel because of the uh, CNC, the name of the machine or whatever, um, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, this is just grease. So that's awesome. So I've designed this. Uh, because it, you know, you guys know so I've designed the turret frame to, with 20 by 20 mounting holes and I'm going to be doing test cutouts with the M three millimeter uh, MD5 MD3 I forgot what the hell it's called the wood um, And it's gonna be pretty interesting. So this is what to be expected if you guys want to see me do the uh, CNC milling bath mod where we use the two water pumps and some kind of a bucket or something uh, We can go ahead and set that up. There's the vacuum that's running up to the exhaust here. On the last cut, I was supposed to actually install this thing, but I forgot to. But it's okay, who cares? Uh, anyways, this is gonna be pretty fun, pretty interesting. So far, I do like this. It took 12 hours to set up, and then on the next day, four hours to align. And I'm on the third day now, just uh, did my first test cut ever. Yesterday, I did my first uh, drawings. Uh, I built this little adapter that I have no idea where I put, it's right here. Um, it was supposed to be for a marker, but I, I got the sizing incorrect, so this thing was just going right here and doing my test little alignments and stuff, and it was everything's okay. I still can't run 100% jog speed, it still catches towards the end here and towards the back, so around 70% I'm totally fine, but I'm not even going to be cutting at that speed, so I don't really want to keep bothering with it. Everything else works perfect. Overall, it's a good machine, and it was a pretty expensive machine too, hella expensive actually, and um, should be pretty fun, so... Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. If you guys want to see more of this, uh, let me know. Yeah, sorry about the, uh, 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 what is it called? The grease on my fingers. But yeah, if you guys want to see more of this, these kinds of things, let me know down in the comment section. If not, I could just open a separate channel for this. Uh, I do plan on doing some crazy DIY projects and I, I just some acrylic stuff and some carbon fiber, some wood, all kinds of crazy good stuff. So uh, let me know what you guys think and... Um, yeah, that's going to include it for this video, guys. This is kind of like the shop's vlog or something. Oh, yeah, and another thing that I just got in the mail today was this. Now, this is the old... Hold on, let me just wipe my hand here. So I don't want to get grease on it. So this is the old oscilloscope that I was doing the noise testing on for the ESCs. And now, 
we have a bigger one, which is from Siglent. This was provided to me by Siglent. So this one here is a four channel. So it's gonna be, we're gonna be able to test latency, the module, the uh, fast truck module uh, receivers and stuff. So it's gonna be pretty fun, pretty interesting. I was gonna make an update video on this one right here. Uh, this thing is just awesome. I've been using it a lot around the shop because I can't take that thing everywhere. So this one's just been absolutely beautiful. I'll leave a link to this down below. I just connect it to like a 4S LiPo and I walk around with it. So it's just been awesome. And yeah, this is the current shop right now. This is the current setup here. So um, just want to do like a little update log of what's going on here. And um, yeah, I'm expecting a lot of little fun stuff to do with this thing right here. So it's, it's pretty awesome. And well, that's it guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And um, let me know what you guys think. Should I continue this uh, type of videos? Should I go ahead and do these kinds of things? If not, just uh, that's cool. So I'll just open a separate channel maybe for this. It would probably be better. But I do plan on doing a lot of uh, drone mods and, and frames and stuff. And well, that's it guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.